Welcome back to Outdoor Chef Life guys, I'm Taku and today I want to show you how to fillet a halibut and specifically a halibut because it's a little different looking than uh, most other fish. Halibut is a flat fish so you fillet it a little bit differently and even when I came back to the harbor from fishing a few guys actually asked me uh, to fillet their halibut for them because they didn't know how to fillet a halibut. So I want to show you guys, I wanted to create this video with the second halibut I got. Uh, if you saw the last video, I got two halibut. One of them we cooked uh, the entire thing on the spot. And then the other one, we have it here. And I want to show you uh, how to fillet it step by step, very thorough um, on how to fillet. So first thing you need, uh, you need a sharp knife. Okay, I use a chef knife. This is a shun and this is a 270 mil uh, chef knife. So that's 10 and a half inches. Uh, it doesn't have to be that long. Normally, something like this is probably going to be too long. You could probably get, get away with uh, 240 mil or right, ar right around there. Like an eight, eight inch blade will be uh, pretty good. And how sharp? You should be able to cut a piece of paper like this. All right. By the way, if you didn't see the last video of me catching this halibut, one of the best fishing days I've had. So go check that out first. All right, so here's my halibut. Uh, this is from yesterday's catch. So I got home yesterday. I just kept it on ice overnight, making sure it's not drowning in the water. And I have already scaled and gutted this fish. And I gutted him from this side. You can see right there. All I did was cut here and just remove the guts. Just put my hand in there and just pull the guts out. And also, yeah, take the gills out as well. If you're going to leave a fish overnight, make sure to take the gills out. You don't want any of those gills in there. Because uh, any of that blood from the gills, it's going to leach into the meat. That's, gonna, that's what's going to make your uh, fish go bad much quicker. So there's a couple different ways to fillet a halibut. Uh, one way is to take out one whole side. The other way is to cut it down the middle and separate it. And we're going to do today both of them. I'm going to show you both techniques. So let's get to it. First thing I'm going to do is take the head off. Actually, you know what? We're going to start with taking the cheeks out first because this is a nice size halibut, 30 inches, 30 and a half. So he's gonna have some nice cheek meat there. So it starts right about here and you can feel it, all right? So you can kind of feel the bones and you can feel where it gets soft. So starting up to right where it gets starts getting soft, I'm gonna cut down, down that jaw line sort of, and then cut around just to, just to right about there and then you should be able to peel it back. See that? And just a little, middle, little more meat there. And then you can just peel it right off the skin. And that right there is a delicious piece from the halibut. The halibut has some of the ama most amazing pieces besides the fillets. So we'll take that out on both sides. Beautiful. I'm gonna go behind the fin and I'm not gonna go up this way or, or straight up. I'm gonna go actually at an angle towards the top of his head. So if this was the top of his head, I'm gonna go from behind the fin to the top. So that's where the meat ends, right? The meat starts here and that's where I wanna just cut off just the head. Okay, and now there's a big thick spinal uh, spinal bone right there. So I'm going to use the heel of my knife and just slam it down. If you can get it right between the two joints, it cuts through really easily. In almost every video that I fillet in, somebody always comments, they make these things called fillet knives. And yeah, I know there's fillet knives, of course, but I like using a chef knife, chef knife because it has more of a backbone. It's got more, more power to it. Fillet knife is thin and flexible. I actually do not prefer the flexibility of a fillet knife. I like the nice backbone of a chef knife. That's why I use the chef knife instead of a fillet knife. So I'm gonna turn the fish around and go behind the fin and then follow that. And you shouldn't even have to cut through bone here. See, it'll just pull off. So the next step is to take the meat off. I'm gonna show you my preferred way, which is taking the whole side off, the entire side. So I'm gonna show you that one first. And what I wanna do here is I want to score every side. So here, here, and here. So I just going into the meat, not just a tiny bit, just cutting through the skin. So score all the edges. 
there, there, as well as on this side. Doing this first step is very important. It's gonna make your fillets look so much nicer. I'm gonna actually take the tail off to make things easier. All right. I'm gonna run the tip of my knife down just this part, just the engawa part. And no further. Okay, now you can lift the meat a little and when you're doing this technique you just want to make sure you're going over the bones it's easy to get under them okay and now go all the way to the center bone there you go now you can see that spine right now i'm at the bottom of the spine i want to go to the top of the spine so i'm going to use the tip of my knife and scrape up a little And if you notice here, the way I'm handling the fish, try to hold up a lot of the fish instead of just a little bit, because that'll keep the meat from breaking. Okay, so now, tip of the knife. So we're getting to that other side of the spine now. I'm just scraping, I'm just scraping around the spine essentially. It's like a little speed bump, I always say. So right here, this is where the rib cage is. So I'm gonna have to cut through about this much of it. Okay, so I cut through now. Now I'm gonna just go all the way to the tail. Long strokes and peel at the same time. Hold the fish up, long strokes. And because we scored on the other side, it's gonna come off really nicely. All right, so we have here one side of the fish. Not much meat left behind, right? Very close to the bone, even the spine, just right around it. And you can literally see all those bones there. That's my preferred method of filleting the halibut, but I know a lot of people like to do it down the middle as well. So I'll show you that way right now. And same exact start. Remember what we did? First, scoring scoring the edges you don't have to hold the knife so flat against the fish you can hold it upright a little at a 45 degree angle and just go into it it's much safer that way because if if you're scoring and your knife's not sharp enough and you slip you're going to cut your hand one of the reasons why i uh, scale the fish as well is because it keeps everything my work surface very clean you can see there's not much scales maybe you'll find one or two scales here and there Maybe one scale on my knife, but it keeps the scales off the knife, off the board, everything clean. That's how we want to be. So we score the sides, now we're going to go down the middle. And they have a line right there. And you can just follow exactly that and just go, and that goes right on top of the spine. All right, so now that opens things up here. And now we're going to start with the top loin. And we're just going to start scraping away. We're going to start right at the bottom of this and we're going to start actually kind of carving away here. Staying close to the bones. This would be an instance where an actual fillet knife where it's more flexible is, uh, is good. Because this right here to get that curve, that flexibility is actually really nice. So that's part of the reason why I do it the other way too so now you start lifting the meat the longer strokes you can take the better it's gonna look your fillet is gonna look cleaner the cuts are gonna look better there you go 
see that you can see every stroke that I took if you look at this one my first one you don't see any of those waves those cut lines because I was able to literally do it in like three two or three strokes so you can it's really clean it's so much cleaner this way um, that's why I do it this way close to the bone but what you miss a little bit is this next to the spine I missed a little bit of that right and that's kind of common when you do it this way this side we have the rib cage again so we got to cut through the rib cage All right so this side is a little easier because it frees things up and you're able to move your knife this way And you also, again, you're kind of peeling that, uh, that fillet back, peeling the meat away. And because we scored, it's a lot really easy to pull off. There you go. And that's how you do both techniques. So that first technique, for me, it works much better. We're not done yet. I'm gonna grab the first one. And we have four pieces right now. So well, the first piece, Angawa. Second piece, fillet, and another fillet, and Angawa. So Angawa is basically these fin muscles of the halibut. And sometimes we call them the ribbon. Uh, the way you take those off, use your finger and just get under that fillet and separate. They're two separate muscles, so they're gonna separate. They just have a little connective tissue between them just like that so both sides use my knife to push against the fillet and then I start a little bit here cut to cut it off here grab this piece I'm gonna pull the Engawa and slide my knife down at the same time just like that now we have a beautiful nice big piece of Engawa there Okay, same thing to the other side. Down the middle, our little off center to the right. And now I'm going to just cut the center off, just a very thin sliver. So, rib cage, we're going to take that off. Just go under it. So, you turn your knife upside down, go under it first, create a little start. And it will stay close to that rib cage and take it off. There we go. Now I'm going to do the other one really quickly, okay? Oh. It's the same exact thing. Make sure there's no bones in the fillet. So there's some bone right here. We have the cheek that we started with, and we have the angawa, we have the top fillet, we have the belly fillet, and we have the angawa on the belly side as well. So that's five separate pieces uh, on each side. This is just on one side, all right? So a lot of the halibut is actually edible, and we even ate uh, the liver from the halibut yesterday. Liver from halibut is actually very delicious as well, so don't miss out on that. Very creamy and delicious. Hope you guys were able to learn how to fillet halibut if you didn't know how to, how to already, or just to make your filleting even better than before. So if you guys liked the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.